Hi, I am Ayushi Rawat and welcome to my channel. Today, we will discuss the September Lead Code Challenge Week 4 Problem Day 23 Gas Station Now let's have a look at the problem statement. There are N gas stations along a circular route where the amount of gas at each station I is gas of I. You have a car with an unlimited gas tank and it costs cost of I of gas to travel from station I to its next station I plus 1. You begin the journey with an empty tank at one of the gas stations. Return the gas station's index if you can travel around the circuit once in a clockwise direction. Otherwise, return minus 1. Note, if there exists a solution, it is guaranteed to be unique. Both input arrays are non-empty and have the same length. Okay, each element in the input array is a non-negative integer. Okay, now let's have a look at the example. Let's say what it says. We have two input arrays here. One is gas and another one is cos. So gas array is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the cost array is 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. The answer is 3 here. Okay, so now let's see what the explanation has to say. We'll start at station 3 here. That's index 3, right? So we'll fill it with 4 units of gases. So now our tank becomes 4. Next, we will travel to station number 4 here. In that case, we'll subtract the previous cost and add the gas in the previous tank. So now we have 4 minus 1 plus 5, that's 8. Next, we are traveling to station 0. That is, we'll subtract the cost 2 and add the gas 1 to our tank. So it becomes 8 minus 2 plus 1, 7. You get the idea, right? Now we'll travel to station 1. Now our tank becomes 7 minus 3 plus 2. That's 6. Next, we're traveling to station 2. Now our tank becomes 6 minus 4 plus 3. Right? That is 5. At last, we can travel back to station 3. And since the cost is 5, our gas is just enough to travel back to the initial station, right? That's our starting index. And because we are successful to complete the cycle, we can finally return 3 as our output here. I hope it's clearer to you, but it will become more clearer to you once we code. Now let's have a look at the second example. Let's see what it says. We have two input arrays here, gas and cost. Gas is 2, 3, 4 and cost is 3, 4, 3. Here, the explanation reads, we can't start at station 0 or 1 as there is not enough gas to travel to the next station, right? So we'll start at station 2 and fill up our tank with 4 units of gas. So now our tank becomes 0 plus 4, that's 4. Next, we are traveling to station number 0. Here, we are subtracting the current cost and adding the gas we fill at the next station. So it becomes 4 minus 3 plus 2, that's 3. Now we travel to station 1. So our tank becomes 3 minus 3 plus 3, that's 3. But unfortunately, we cannot travel back to station 2. Why? Because now it requires 4 units of gases. And as we can see, we have only left with 3. So therefore, because we cannot travel the circuit and complete the cycle and return back to our original station. So in this case, we will simply return minus 1. You get the idea, right? Okay. I hope you understood it. Now let's quickly dive into the code. Okay, so first I'll declare a tank variable and initialize it with 0. And I'll also define index and initialize it with minus 1. Next, now I'll define cost 1. And I'll calculate cost as sum of our cost minus sum of gas. Now, I'll calculate the length of our gas. 
Now we'll check our base condition here. If cost one is greater than zero, in that case we can simply return minus one. Now I'll run a for loop over the length of gas. Now I'll declare a temporary variable here and I'll calculate tank plus gas of 5 for each iterative round and assign it into the temporary variable. Next, I will check if my temp variable that I just declared is greater than or equals to cost of i. In that case, I am defining another if condition and I will check if tank is equals to 0. In that case, I will set i into index. Next, I define the variable temp2 where I'm storing the value of gas of i minus cost of i and then I'm incre incrementing the tank variable to temp plus a gas cost. Otherwise, I'll declare tank as 0 and index as minus 1. At last, I'll return the index. Now let's try running our code. Now let's try submitting it. It shouldn't have been defined inside the second if condition. Let's try running it again. And now let's try submitting it. And it's done. You can join my Discord server and Telegram channel for regular updates. You can find the code at my GitHub repository. Link is available in the description box below. If you wish to connect with me on other social platforms, the link is mentioned in the description box below. If you have any queries or suggestions, please feel free to ask. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.